ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Sing countdown engines on Two. Check ignition and may God's love be with you <laughs> This is ground control to Major Tom as to the status of uh, me Philadelphia Eagles. Now then, what? I'm going to borrow a line from a uh, Paul Newman movie, A Cool Hand Look. As the warden says, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Now then, Mr. McNabb, please do not tell me Please do not tell me, after being in the league for 10 years, a veteran quarterback making $12 million a year, that you do not know that there is a, such a thing as a tie in the NFL during the regular season. Tell me, please, that you were joking about that. That, accompanied with your poor game of three interceptions against the 28th ranked defense in the NFL, no pass rush. You have failed to attempt to establish the run. Pass, interception, pass, completion, pass, interception, pass, completion, pass, interception, pass, interception. What in the hell are you doing, man? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, anyway. On to better and the more important things. Oh. Uh, is a fellow Irishman, and the Reed, what in the hell? Are you trying to be fat bastard? Get in my belly! No, Andy Reed, we're not getting in your belly. Hell no, man. Are you crazy? You did not know either, I suspect. Failure to communicate, Mr. Reed. Mr. McNabb, I'm going to call you both Mr. McFeely. Speedy delivery, speedy delivery. Oh. I feel more pain for the fans that expect the Eagles to be at least competitive. How can you play the Giants 36-31? And be competitive to the one, probably the best team in the NFL other than Tennessee right now. And then go on the road and lay an egg. Practically. When you do not know that there's such a thing as a tie in the regulation. McNabb is warming up at the end of the uh, overtime. Like, what are you going to do? Throw in the parking lot? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I do not even have, I do not even have a statement to offer other than unbelievable. Unbelievable! Now then, I want to give out a shout out. I'm not going to say much. There's not much to say. What can you say about a 13-13 tie? Oh. I'm going to give a shout out to my brother uh, in Philly Heat. 
The Philly heat is uh, starting to get chilly. It's still to be chilly heat. Not Philly heat, chilly heat. Anyhow, uh, I want to give a major shout out to Leroy. I hope he hasn't got too despondent over this last game because I do remember the video said that Andy Reid better take care of the Bengals. Well, Andy Reid didn't take care of the Bengals. I'm sorry, Leroy. I'm sorry. Very ex... Oh. I, I, the defense, I cannot say. Other than the one touchdown, and you, if you hold a team to one touchdown, you pretty much should win. And eight sacks, only 40 some yards rushing. But the, the, the offense, ineptitude of the offense, not to try to establish a run against a, they had no pass rush. So I guess if you throw 58 times, why don't you just throw 60? Even it up, 60 throws. I, I do not know what else to say. I do not. All I know is the only the way that uh, the Philadelphia Eagles and Andy Reid can get the the majority of the fan base back on board is to go into Baltimore next week, and this will not be an easy task. Is to go in Baltimore and take care of business and handle them handily, and get uh, back to Philadelphia to play Arizona, and then beat them, and then try to get on a bit of a run. If you do not do this. Andy Reid, Donovan McNabb, you will be on the way out. Trust me, the fans in Philadelphia are not going to keep continually put up with a loser. They just had the Phillies win the World Series. They were a wild card team. You better get in the playoffs if you want to have a job in 2009. Trust me, you will be playing in a different uniform. But uh, McNabb, you may be playing for the Browns. Think about it. The Browns. Andy. Oh. You may have to join George Bush. Trust me. It's not looking good, sir. No, sir. Until next time. Cousin O'Toole signing off. I will, I will try to decipher what has happened here and come back later. That's all I know what to do. Okay? Take care. Have a good evening. Monday morning, good afternoon, good evening, and depending on where you're at, as Leroy says, a good night. And I'm floating in the most peculiar way, and the stars look very different today. Sitting in a tin can